Hi, my name is Sani Cisse, and I am the 2021 Prince George's County Youth Poet Laureate, and I am also an alumni of Joe's Movement Emporium's Creative Works. The first poem that I have for you all today is titled Water. Water is the blackest thing I've come to know, see. Black and water go hand in hand and wave back to the middle passage. Water remembers our ancestors who couldn't bear to have a spirit that wasn't free, so they jumped ship, shed the body so the soul could return home. You could not keep them in enslavement. It remembers those who could not survive the journey and were thrown overboard because they never bothered but to leave black bodies floating in the water and maybe there is something in our spirits that's been dying of thirst ever since black is water and thirsty for help but black bodies always gotta save themselves because everybody else finds it easy to look the other way and leave us to drown black boy drinking bottle of Hennessy like a magic potion. All his unacceptable emotions are washed down with the liquor and suppressed for a while longer, water like 1950. Black body is barred from the swimming pool cause black skin is too colorful and not lighter than a paper bag. The white faces laugh like, surely you ain't got no buoyancy in that body and black skin. Ain't never come with the right properties to float. Your hair would get messed up anyway cause your mama spent two hours to hot comb that hair. We have forgotten how much water we really are. Like black child telling black parents that they are gender fluid and they tell them not some white people-ish. And if you pray on it enough, then maybe you can dissolve your identity. Water like Flint. How they've been too content to leave black communities with rusty water and lead poison water. How many times we have forgotten and remembered and how they still can't drink from their tap to this day. But they say race ain't got nothing to do with it. Say find a better place to live like can't black bodies swim upstream with all that magic you say you got i once heard to withhold someone's rights to water is one of the biggest acts of violence so tell me how this isn't war water like how black women always gotta be vessel a supports and pouring even when not replenishing each time we can only rely on each other to fill ourselves back up water is the blackest thing i've come to know like black refugee finding its way in America, a fish out of water finding its way in a melting pot. They drink the assimilation hot and steaming water. Like how we were never taught how to swim. Have you ever noticed how the body is 70% water and 70% of us don't know how to swim to this day? Black children are at the highest risk to drown water like black depression. We are taught to swallow our sad and keep swimming cause there ain't never been no sympathy for black tears. Black could scream and the world will still try to find a way to color our blues mute. We see water and black hair. It is fluid and winding. Now they always want to be on our wave, want to be seasick with slick edges and waves but never know. What it feels like to drown or feel fish out of water. Just want to drink from blackness without inheriting the black blues. Only want to dip their feet in the water without becoming it. And always quick to abandon before the osmosis creeps in. But they still say it ain't that hard to swim anymore. And if you want to know a magic trick, just say black people invented water. And watch white face turn flesh red with anger because they ain't come up with it first. All I have left to ask is, how isn't water the blackest thing you've ever heard?